Welcome. Dear graduating class, ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to introduce this year's graduation speaker. He's not new to this stage since he gave the valedictorian speech at his own graduation from Glion 26 years ago with the class of 1989. Mr. Fabrice Leclerc is an innovator and an entrepreneur with a special interest in health, sustainability and ethics. Over the last 20 years, Fabrice has pioneered innovation as a driving force of positive social and environmental change. His study and his story is an in inspiration to us all. He started out scooping ice cream to pay for his studies, only to become the managing director of the Hagen Das ice cream company in a few short years that followed. He went on to found and manage the business innovation lab of L'Oreal, and he now advises international companies and leaders on how to raise their business performance while doing good for the communities. Fabrice is currently a startup angel for young entrepreneurs in the digital and sharing economy at EPFL and acts as innovation consultant for Nespresso and the United Nations Ethical Fashion Initiative. He holds teaching appointments with Bocconi University in Milan and the HEC in Lausanne. Please join me in giving a very, very warm Glion welcome to Monsieur Fabrique Leclerc. Good afternoon. Monsieur Bentley, members of the Board of Lyon, members of the faculty, proud parents, and above all, graduates. It's my, it's my honor to be with you today for your commencement speech from one of the finest universities on the planet. I do not worry at all for you. Some people go to the Super Bowl and you are the Super Bowl now. I come from where you come from. I share the same appetite for making the impossible possible. I feel the unlimited energy to accomplish what matters to us all, to thrive, and to make our lives better, to help others as we help ourselves, to know that we are one, all connected, that we form a single entity, a single shining family. We are now inventing new skills, new technologies, a new soul, a new attitude, a new set of values. But without thriving, we are nothing. Without living, we are nothing. Thriving is now our priority. This is what defines modern leaders. We act for a better life. I'm about to unveil two secrets that you probably uh, lived every second of your time in Glion. Universal secrets that will make your life shine, that will make you thrive and have success today more than ever anywhere. The first one, is that people who thrive are constantly keeping the natural elements alive and vibrant, inside them and outside them. The air, the soil and the sun, the water, are the cornerstone of everything. They are the architect of each one of ourselves, of every living being. When you go with the natural elements, you thrive. When you go against the natural elements, you lose. Remember your amazing sensation when you woke up in Glion, opening up the window and taking a breath of big fresh air from the Swiss mountains? Your body felt this was really good for you. This was a present from the earth to you. Many of our friends are now rushing out of big cities because they just can't breathe. The air has been damaged because of the lack of knowledge and vision of the people who built and managed them, most of them coming from what we used to call top schools. It is now our role and opportunity to revert this, to lead the evolution, to drive the future with vision and powerful human values, positive and global skills. Leading today is about doing everything right. You can live without food for three weeks, without water for three days, but you can't live without air for three minutes. Then you took the rays of the sun on your face 
and without noticing, they activated the production of the most potent anti-aging and happiness factors inside of you. You felt the power of the second element, the fire. So just invent technologies, cities, solution to harvest its power, get out of the concrete boxes that you have been trapped in by people who ask you now, think outside the box. As long as the sun will shine, you will always be able to harvest its energy. Only two minutes of its rays are enough to power the entire planet for a year. And the sun never sends you invoices. Remember how you felt when you took a bite into the most amazing food? Organic, fresh, local, still full of life, which only fertile and living soil can make. Without it, we cannot exist, but we have treated this living skin like dirt, destroying half of it and turning it into dust. Modern leaders are now nourishing and healing the soil. What we take, we give back, making the whole life circle working again properly. By eating and growing fresh foods from fertile soils, like the best chefs today and the best leaders, many plant-based, we load our body with micronutrients. We vote for a thriving world. We repair the damage done by the past generations and we vote for ourselves. Feeding ourselves with organic food is to believe in tomorrow. Growing your food is like printing your own money. Water is the essence of life. It is the source of everything. It is everywhere. Remember how you felt when you put some drops of fresh spring water on your lips, it felt like liquid gold, activating your body and your soul. So remember, take care of the four elements and make them part of your everyday life. And you will open up to the fifth element, the magic. The second secret I wanted to share is about love. A recent 75-year study from Harvard University has just confirmed what we feel inside. People who thrive and live the longest, the centenarians, which I hope everybody in this room uh, will be, um, they love and they love a lot. And they are also very grateful for what they have. Loving someone, loving what you do, loving the earth, is to use the most powerful energy we know. In business, your success won't come from your business plan, but from how much love you invested and, and gave over time. When you love, you activate a special sequence of your anti-aging genes. It makes your internal energy to flow, what we call the chi in the East, what we call the energy in the West. You are on the brink of doing extraordinary things, so just do them. Follow your heart, your instinct, not the books and not Facebook. Remember the two secrets, stay in harmony with the natural elements, the air, the water, the soil and the fire, work with and for life, eat the most amazing foods and most of all, love a lot. The world is changing and is waiting for you, ready to evolve. We live in a moment of time when the desire to change, the need to break out of the past rules, to reconnect with our lives is accelerating. This is just an amazing time for you and an opportunity. So now go, you know the secrets, break the rules, play, laugh, and leave the world a better place that you have found it. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the living beings you can, as long as you ever can. Don't worry, never worry, everything will be all right for a very, very long time. So thank you very much and love bless you all.